Hello, my name is Kendall and welcome to my journey. Um, I am making these videos as a way for me to document my feelings and my journey as we lead up to and after the VSG surgery. So I, it is July 7th, 2020, and I am scheduled for vertical sleeve gastrectomy uh, on July 21st of 2020. And so I am exactly two weeks pre-op right now. And today is the first day that I've had any rules or restrictions leading up to uh, up to my surgery. So today is the day that I have to stop taking any kind of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications um, and some other, there are some other medications on that list that don't affect me, but NSAIDs is the big one. Woke up with a headache and I can't take an ibuprofen, so all I can take is Tylenol. So that is gonna be a change and something I have to adjust to, but um, that's a long-term change. After VSG, you're not supposed to take NSAIDs for a while as well, so that's something I'm just going to have to adjust to. Um, I wanted to just kind of document how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking as we're going into this process. And it's tough. Um, I am super excited and super prepared. I have watched a million YouTube videos. I know a lot of you have, um, but I'm also super nervous. I am a mom, I have two young boys. Um, I am a business owner and a sole practitioner, which means that when I am not there, my business is not making very much money. So it's really important that I am able to kind of bounce back and get back to work as soon as possible. And of course, be, come home to my family. Um, I did make the decision to have VSG surgery in Mexico. I am going to go see Dr. Alvarez at Endobariatric. Um, which is in, I'm going to say this wrong, Piedro Negros, PN is what everybody calls it in Texas, which is actually kind of near the um, San Antonio is where they'll pick us up. So it's, it's um, in a little different location than some of the other uh, popular Mexican bariatric hospitals. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I feel really confident with Dr. Alvarez. Um, he's done a lot of these surgeries. As a matter of fact, the VSG is the only bariatric surgery he does. So um, he just does this one procedure. He's very good at it. He does it day in and day out. So I'm hopeful that I'll have a nice average experience and that that will be uh, good for me. The reason I chose to have this surgery is because um, basically for the last 10 years, I've been gaining and losing the same 50 pounds. So in 2015, so five years ago, um, I lost 50 pounds. I started working out really hard. I had a personal trainer. Um, I basically got my carbs down to zero. And um, you know, over the course of about six months, I lost 50 pounds and I thought that was great and it was hard work. Um, and then we had a couple of things. We went on a vacation to Disneyland and I gained about seven pounds back on vacation. And came home and started working out again and started um, you know, cutting my carbs again and I just could not get those seven pounds back off. Um, my weight started to kind of rise, um, but I was still working hard, still doing the work. And then Thanksgiving came and in a matter of four days, um, I put on 15 pounds during those four days. Um, we had my whole family here at the house. Um, we cooked for everybody. We, it was icy and nasty outside. We pretty much stayed inside. And I just felt like, I felt destroyed that I had done all this work and I was able to gain 15 pounds in four days. I mean, that would have taken me a month, month and a half to lose that much. Um, and so it just really discouraged me and I kind of was like, okay, forget it. And so I stopped, I was still working out. Um, I actually enjoy working out. I still had a personal trainer. I was lifting weights three times a week, um, but really stopped watching my carbs. And so of course, big surprise, the weight came back, right? Um, by winter of 20, let's see here, it would have been like February, March of 2019. I was at my highest weight, which was 278 pounds is what I saw on the scale, 278, which whew, I just I couldn't believe it. I mean, I really just couldn't believe it. Um, wow. Um, anyway, I uh, talked to my husband. He was also feeling like he was getting kind of heavy 
and out of hand and so together we decided to go back on our keto diet cut our carbs work hard to try to drop the weight and we did um, together I lost about 50 pounds my husband lost about 50 pounds so together we lost about 100 pounds um, from March to August of last year um, of 2019 so we lost that weight we were working really well together again kind of got derailed we went on vacation we went to Disney World can you tell we're Disney people um, and also went on a Disney cruise and we both gained a little weight. I mean, not enough to destroy us, but when we came back and we tried to get back on the plan, it just felt like we couldn't. It felt like we couldn't get there. Um, we both were trying to cut our carbs, and of course we were into holidays and all those other excuses that people use to gain weight, and the weight just kept coming back, and so it just feels like I keep gaining and losing the same weight. So right now I'm at 252, basically, 252 pounds. Um, so certainly lower than my highest weight last year, <coughs> but certainly a lot higher than my low weight last year. So um, I have been watching my carbs and trying to keep the numbers down, but I just feel like I, I feel like the VSG will give me the push I need to get past these 50 pounds, to get past the I'm dieting for six months, I'm dieting for eight months, and then I'm done um, dieting and the weight's just going to come back. I'm really hopeful that this will help me find a longer term solution to lose the weight and get healthy. Um, so that is my plan. That's what I'm headed for. That's my goals. Um, so today, 14 days out, no major changes. I do start my pre-op diet on Saturday and that will certainly be a change. Um, we are actually going to be at a baseball tournament this weekend with my kids. So I'm going to go to a mostly liquid diet starting on Saturday, other than I can have soft vegetables, veggies. So we'll see, we'll see what that, what that looks like. Um, as far as while I'm traveling, um, and, and what that, what that means for us, we're going to be sitting out in the heat all day. So lots and lots of water and hydration. Um, but yeah, so I will definitely try to record every couple of days just how I'm feeling, what's going on, what we're doing in preparation, um, and try to keep you guys up to date so that I can document how this is going, um, how I'm feeling about everything, um, and just bring you along on my journey so that I can see these later. Um, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.